Hey guys, it's Karima and thank you for tuning in for another video and if you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video and watching today. So I had lots of things to do today so you guys will be hanging out with me and getting things done. Of course, I started my day with a load of laundry and I wanted to get a couple of rooms cleaned before I had to leave the house and do my grocery shopping. I tried to get up really early this morning, it's about 8 a.m. to get the rooms clean because I wanted to be at the stores by the time they opened up at 10. Inside all that greatness and all of your adventures You're all alone Hold up, hold up, baby I can sit beside you While you're going on about your simple life So a new strategy that I'm trying in my house when I have lots to do is to clean the easiest rooms first to kind of give me energy and momentum to keep going. So I decided to start out in Kingston's room because his room is the least messiest room in the house. He has a few toys in here, but not much. He does most of his playing either outside or downstairs in the playroom. So his room stays tidy for the most part. So I'm starting in here because I know I can get it done really quick. Kingston sheets didn't need to be changed because he had a little accident and we recently washed his sheets and mattress cover but I did want to put on the sheets that went with his comforter that I recently washed so I'm just going to change them out anyway. As many of you know, my son Kingston was diagnosed with autism right after his second birthday. And one of the issues that he dealt with at that time was anxiety and high stress levels and just a lot of restlessness when it came to sleeping. Sleeping issues is very common with people with autism. So one of the things we did for him was buy weighted blankets. He never had a weighted blanket of his own. I do have a weighted blanket for my bed that I use since he sleeps with me a lot. But I want to thank Cozy for sponsoring this video and sending us this weighted blanket just for Kingston because it really helped with relieving his stress and anxiety and it helps him sleep so much better. To be 100% honest, sleep is no longer an issue for Kingston and I think a lot of it has to do with the use of weighted blankets. Some of the benefits of using weighted blankets is to improve sleep focus to help calm anxiety and meltdown in children. It's also said to boost serotonin levels to help improve your mood and reduce stress. Now you don't need to have autism to use a weighted blanket. I also suffer from anxiety issues and I've also suffered from depression at a point in my life so I had a weighted blanket for myself for those re reasons because I had trouble sleeping and it was just very helpful for my son as well so we were so happy to have one for him. It offers a sense of security. It kind of gives you that feeling of being held or hugged and it just gives you a coziness that kind of allows your body to relax and helps you drift off to sleep. So if you have a child that has trouble sleeping and you want to give this weighted blanket a try, please check my description box below. You'll find a link where you can get 30% off.
Here are the after shots of Kingston's room. His room is by far the easiest to clean. It literally takes me about 30 minutes or less to clean his room. So my first load of laundry is done. Now I'm going to wash my work clothes. What I've been doing lately is getting undressed in the garage and leaving my uniform in a bag out in the garage. And once it's full, I just take everything and throw it in. Do a wash on the hot cycle with the Lysol laundry sanitizer just to keep my home clean and my family safe. So I do think it's a good idea to make your bed as soon as you get up in the morning, but that's not always feasible for me because my children do like to hang out in my bed. If you notice, I just pulled off my daughter's art kit and her iPad because she was in my bed. But for the purposes of this video, I made her go in her room and of course she left everything in my bed. But I am going to change my sheets. I did recently wash the outer blanket, the comforter. My husband takes it to the laundromat because our washing machine is just too small to wash our big king size comforter. So he recently took it to the laundromat. I'm just going to change our sheets and spray our mattress cover down with Lysol spray because I'm going to put a new pair of sheets on right away. So on my bed tray, I like to keep my planner and a mother-daughter journal that I recently bought for my daughter and I to work on in there along with some decor. I like to make it actually functional. Sometimes I'll have a drink in there as well if I'm actually in my bed. But I put my planner and journal in there because it just helps to remind me to actually look and use those things.
So I'm just using my water and vinegar mix to just kind of lightly dust off the bed. It was a very, very thin coating of dust up there. I do wipe it down pretty often so it doesn't really accumulate. Um, and sometimes I even use my dust glove just to dust it off. But since I had the rag and I was cleaning off the tables, I just wanted to dust off the bed rail as well. been getting pretty quick with cleaning my room if you've been watching my channel for a long time you know I came a long way and even though my room was messy today it is nowhere as messy as it used to be I've been keeping up with it a lot more I've kind of gotten a little routine so here are the after shots of my room So I was able to get out of the house by 9.30. I had to head to Home Depot first because my kids usually do the Home Depot workshop the first Saturday of every month. And it's just become a tradition for us. Even though they're not holding the workshops in store, you can still pick up the pieces and do the workshop at home. So that's what I did. They're making a recycling truck. From there, I headed to Costco, but guys, I didn't even get inside the Costco because there was a line wrapped around the building, so I went to Aldi instead. As soon as I got home from the store, I immediately started cleaning my kitchen. I really wanted to clean the kitchen before I went grocery shopping, but I wanted to get out to the stores early just in case I had to deal with crowds. So I'm cleaning the kitchen now. All my groceries are still in the bags right by the counter, but I have to get rid of all the dishes and clear off the counters before I can put my groceries away. Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions, get to know you better. Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted? And will you let me down? Before I'm too invested, you should take it easy. Maybe we could test this, and we got a feel this. Thinking about you all the time, but that's all right. I'm 
starting to get used to it think i'll survive i met you in the summer when you left it was cold said we loved one another So I got most of the dishes put away in a dishwasher, but I wanted to show you what my kitchen was really looking like before I got it fully clean. Those are all the groceries that I just bought from Aldi and I do wash my grocery bags. I know people were concerned saying that some of the stores won't allow you to bring your own bags because of germs, but I wash mine. Without you. And I couldn't really make you stay, so what to do? I'm just staring at my walls and talking to myself now and then I'll try to laugh but I'll cry a bit as well I was never any good at being away from you I met you in the summer When you left it was cold Said we loved one another Guess that we were wrong I met you in the summer It's been a bit stressful because I really like using barkeeper's friend to clean out my kitchen sink it is my favorite product for the kitchen sink but I cannot find it anywhere I've checked Walmart where I usually buy it I've checked the Dollar Tree and it is just out everywhere so now I'm just using dish soap to clean out my sink and a little antibacterial spray So my yeah. son was being a little too oh, wow. quiet for Are you me. a clown? So I had to go and you check see on him and you this see is what I found. He was upstairs playing in Look my makeup you. and colored Look his nose you. with no. eyeliner and colored you. his lips with pink lipstick. Little and he thought it was boy. the funniest thing on earth. Look at you. You see yourself? I've been going crazy you look crazy. You. So Do you look crazy? Yeah, honey, what's on your nose? What's on your nose? Is that mommy's makeup? What's on your lips? What's on your lips? In your hands, yes. What's all of that? Is that mommy's eyeliner and lipstick? Yeah, I think so. I don't want you to do that, okay? That was a fashion. Oh, okay. <laughs> One of the things that I've been struggling with with everyone staying home is the accumulation of dishes. Now you just saw I loaded my dishwasher up to the T and I still had this many dishes left over to wash by hand. And I didn't get them all because I never do. But it just seems like because they're home all day they just take a cup and a plate and they drink and eat all day. I have tried the method of using one cup and plate and spoon um, set of silverware for the day but they're not really abiding by that and I don't want to be like a sergeant making sure everyone's using one utensil one plate but these dishes this is becoming a real situation You may have seen this on my channel before but I like to clean my fruits and vegetables in vinegar and water so the grapes and strawberries I put them in a bowl so that I can soak them in some vinegar water I usually just fill the bowl up with water and just put a splash that's a quarter cup that I'm using but I don't even fill the cup up all the way that's how much vinegar I put in each bowl
I started keeping my kids vitamins in pill boxes to just keep it organized since I am giving them additional vitamins now and it is an easy way for us to know if they had their vitamins for the day. I can't tell you how many mornings we were trying to figure out or not mornings rather but days we were trying to figure out whether the kids had their vitamins or not and since they're taking multiple vitamins this is just the easy way to keep them organized right now they're taking a multivitamin they're taking calcium and vitamin d omega-3s and vitamin c I am also taking additional vitamins myself. I do take a multivitamin. I am taking vitamin C, vitamin D, and zinc. This is not to replace our vitamins in food, but we are deficient in some of these things and we don't get enough of it from our food. So I'm just doing my best to keep my immune system boosted and my family's immune system boosted, especially during these times. So if you are a frequent viewer then you know I like to cut up my strawberries because I have found that as if the strawberries are already cleaned and cut up the kids will eat them for some reason if I even if I clean them and put them back in the package whole these kids refuse to eat them so I cut everything up just to make sure that the fruits don't go to bad and the kids actually eat them It's a remedy, a remedy, a remedy To keep it nice and clean, not freak out and cause a scene. I try to hold it together, keep it together. Not sure who I really am, just be cute and super bland. I try to hold it together, keep it together. Been playing it down, but I'm so getting tired. Now won't you meet? So 
So now that the fruits and vegetables are clean and the dishes are done, I'm going to unpack the groceries. I didn't do a grocery haul in this video. I'm not sure if you guys are into that. Let me know in the comments below. Do you guys want it? want grocery hauls in the video would you be interested in knowing the things that i buy from the supermarket um let me know i know grocery hauls are popular on youtube but it's not something that i do very often on my channel so let me know if that's something you're interested in seeing So I had to show you these. Aldi has these new gourmet cake mixes. This is the raspberry cream and I also picked up the vanilla bean. They look so good on the box. You will see them in a, a video feature soon. I'm getting dinner prepared now. I don't know if you guys noticed that my crock pot has been on the counter the whole time. That's because hubby had gotten the pot roast in there and started this morning when I went out to the store because you know it's a slow cooker meal and we needed a couple of hours and I wanted it to be done by dinner time. We did have quite the menu on this day. I don't normally cook this much food for just an average dinner but I was in the mood so I did it. We had pot roast, I made Brussels sprouts, baked beans, salad, and mashed potatoes. What happened to us? What happened to all the love we always took for granted? Are we stranded? Is it too late? Is it too late to color feelings that have faded? Complicated. I wanted to share the recipe I'm using to make my Brussels sprouts. So I'm drizzling olive oil and balsamic vinegar dressing on it. I'm going to season it with salt and pepper and garlic powder. And once I put it on the pan, I'm going to drizzle just a little bit of honey on top. Hubby also peeled the potatoes for the mashed potatoes and I'm making a simple salad. It's just romaine lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers. I'm gonna add carrots, croutons on the plate, bacon bits, and fried onions. What happened to all the love we always took for granted?
So it was really good that I made a lot of sides because we literally had like five potatoes to make the mashed potatoes. So it was a very small serving for everyone. But for my mashed potatoes, I just boil them. I add some almond milk and some butter. I mash them up and then I add seasoning. So I am cleaning the table off from my kids daily activities and homework and if you look out the window you can tell that it is nighttime guys. I have literally been going since 7.30 that morning. So this was truly one of those getting things done type of days. And I hope that you found it motivating. I hope this gave you all the energy you needed to get some things done in your house. We don't say at each other tears in her eyes from the words we said yeah it kind of broke my heart loving you is not so goddamn easy as you think i'm trying my best to hold on but i feel myself giving you know that we shouldn't keep it up like this we hurt each other's feelings on and on i don't want to change who you are the things you say is all too far but i know that i've played my part i'm hurting you as well i guess that we should say we're sorry I wanted to thank you guys again for recommending the Murphy oil soap to me. I really like it. So I'm also using that to clean off my kitchen table. I didn't get the spray. I got the concentrated kind, but I realized there's a spray. So I will purchase that next time. But I just put it in a small bowl of water to clean off the table. For what it's worth, I'll try to change. We can't fix our broken hearts. Loving me is not so goddamn easy as I think. Try your best to hold up, but I see you giving in. You know that we shouldn't keep it up like this. We hurt each other's feelings on and on. I don't wanna change who you are. The things you say is always one step too far. But I know that I've played my part. I'm hurting you as well. I guess that we should say we're sorry. Now the food is done. I am going to plate everyone's plate. Stay tuned to the very end if you want to see the finished product. But at this point, I want to just thank you guys for watching. And if you watch this entire video, you guys are the real MVP. This was definitely a long one. If you're new to my channel and you just need life motivation, mommy motivation, working mom motivation, you just need energy this is the right place to be consider subscribing i provide a lot of energy and it's positive energy at that so i love you guys as always of course to my loyal subscribers thank you guys so much for all the support it's like tremendous and unbelievable and is greatly appreciated stay tuned for the finished plating and i'll see you guys in the next one love you guys